So, uh, day one of the blog, uh, heading to the Fulton Speedway right now. Season's getting started. Uh, next week, we got a big, uh, big two-day show, but right now it's just practice. So, uh, we're about to head to the Fulton Speedway right now and check out practice, uh, see what's going on. Uh, best part about today is you get to see some people you don't ha normally see or you, you haven't seen since the season ended. And also check out the paint schemes. A lot of people do uh, really cool vinyl uh, on their cars and... Uh, you get to see them for the first time in person, so that's pretty cool. So uh, let's head to the Fulton Speedway and check it out. We won't give it a name. Alright, so we made it to the track. Cars are actually on there right now, so they might have started a little bit early. Let's get up there. So we're here at the track. Uh, the audio equipment works. On the first shot, so that's definitely good. Never happened in all the years that I've worked here. We've managed to pick up the audio equipment the very first try. Uh, practice is going on right now. We're going to try to talk to a couple drivers in the pits. Uh, but practice so far going very well. A couple new faces overall. Uh, very good practice so far here at the Fulton Speedway. This for the most part just concluded. I uh, got a couple more cars left to go on the track. We'll be right back at it. Uh, here to Carome tomorrow for the Go Name Clear Late Metal Show. Well, fans, it's race day here. Finally getting behind the mic for the first time. Uh, in 2016 tonight for the Go Nuclear Late Model show at Utica Rome. The first of two times we'll be there uh, this season. Uh, getting pretty anxious looking to get back and uh, get in the swing of things. All right, so we're en route to the Utica Rome Speedway right now. Heading off to the first race of the year for the Go Nuclear Late Model Tour. I'll give it a name.
to the Utica Rome Speedway. Should be a good show here tonight. We'll get signed in and get going. busy so haven't had a whole lot of time to get any reaction in the pits or anything like that that's Dean Reynolds he runs ESS he'll probably make some more uh, appearances on this vlog once we get going more and more uh, 22 cars here at Utica Rome here tonight uh, just did uh, heats or no just did time trials and practice uh, we have 22 cars we'll do three heats the top three from each will redraw um, decent field here tonight uh, considering it's the first night for a lot of these drivers uh, tracks in great shape uh, should have a pretty good feature here tonight so stay tuned so it's break time here at the Utica Rome Speedway uh, go nuclear heats went like this uh, Lee Gill picking up the heat race win in heat race number one uh, Bryce Davis waiting till uh, the last couple corners of the last lap in turn two uh, to pick up his re heat race win. And Phil Potts also picking up a win in heat race number three. So Potsy! Gil, Potsy, <laughs> and Bryce Davis. Yes, again. Uh, Bryce Davis right now is probably the man to beat. He had the fastest car in time trials. Uh, won his heat race and uh, is looking pretty tough to beat here so far. And uh, 30 laps yet to go here in the feature. And then we'll stick around for the modified feature, get a couple shots of that here on the camera, and then call it a night as we're back up to Buffalo tomorrow. But uh, great turnout right now, 22 cars at the Utica Rome Speedway and looking pretty good here at Utica Rome. Hey guys, thanks for watching episode one of the vlog. I'm going to try to do this at least once a week, um, if schedule and time permits with racing and everything else I got going on on top of my full-time job. So again, thank you if you watched just one second of this video. I greatly appreciate it. Um, I'm going to try to do a lot more in the coming weeks, but I'm on a low budget as well. This is a very low budget production, so I appreciate the watch. Um, and uh, stay tuned for more here in the future. Thank you.